What's going on guys, Cliffy here, and before we get into the bulk of the episode, if you do want to go and buy this game, make sure you use the links down below in the description. You'll get a 10% discount for using, well, just basically using that link, because it is linked to me, and it's basically just a, a TC Gaming 16 fans discount. So you get 10% off, can do it for both PC and Mac, so that's pretty cool. If you do want the game, make sure you go and check that out, but now... Time to get on with the video. So today, the first game of the T20 Championship, Division 1. And uh, we are taking on, I think we're taking on Namibia. I think, from memory. And um, today's squad, <coughs> sorry, is a little bit different than uh, than usual. There is no Ryan Tendiscata. He's being rested because he is bloody tired from basically just all the cricket he's been playing at the moment. So um, it's down to Tommy Cooper, really. He is the big man in this side he is the guy who really needs to stand up and we do need to stand up a little bit because we are we're going pretty slow this is a t20 game remember not a one day game and we've only got 52 for two off about 10 overs so it's going to take a good last 10 for us to go and get somewhat of a defendable score here today so because 10 to is not playing had to have a wee bit of a mix up of the batting order so my bird comes in in the middle order rather than opening up so hopefully he can go and um and score some runs down there as well, because we are going to need someone to go and play um, a wee bit of a blinder towards this back half, just because we have started off, as I said, very, very slow, and that run rate is only just over five and a half, so it really is going to take maybe one of these guys, or maybe even Peter Boren to come in and score like a quick fire 30 or 40 for us to go and get something defendable, because in this T20 Championship, there isn't really much room for error. Basically, you need to go and pick up wins early on. Otherwise, you are going to be in trouble. You're going to be playing catch-up cricket from the get-go. And really, that is not what you want. So we need these two, Peter Byron or Stefan Myberg, to go and really just pump up the scoring quick and fast. Because I think on this track, 120, which is looking like we what we are going to get, is not going to be enough. We really need something more and as I said hopefully one of these two can go and just score us a quick fire you know there's a uh, there's an over and a half left if we can get somewhere towards you know we've got an over left if we can get 13 off this last over and we're going to be looking at something along the lines you know of maybe 140 potentially we can look to go and try and defend that that's a 50 partnership between these two my bird really has started to accelerate towards the end of the innings that is going to be another six so that brings us to 139 50 for my bird, who probably is going to open in the next innings i would say um but he is just he's really gone he's gone and done what i wanted to see i wanted someone to come out and just absolutely blitz it. And he's done that in these last couple of overs. He's now moved on to 63 off 35. Final delivery. And all of a sudden, we've gone from wanting about, well, probably looking at getting about 120 to 148 for three. So that is going to be a lot more respectable over. 21 coming off the last over from Myberg. And hopefully our bowlers can go and get the job done. Remember, no Ryan Tender Scarter today. So we're a wee bit lacking in both the batting and the bowling. I do, however, believe that we have got the bowlers, we've got the skilled bowlers that can go and take us to victory. So we're going to have to go and rely heavily on both the openers, both Jamal and Bakari, who have gone and done it for us before. Um, we just need to lean on those guys. And as I said, hopefully they can go and get us through to a good score. Peter Boron, I think, is going to be key today, obviously with no tender scatter. But the openers have gone and done their jobs. Both of them picked up Tufa in their first couple of overs. And we just need to go and just keep it going and um, keep building that pressure. Keep building that pressure. The required run rate is just going to keep going up. And that, ideally, is what we want to see. We want it to just keep going up and... Um, yeah, just put that pressure on. So this is where I think potentially could be a little bit of the weak link for us. As you can see, uh, Gruitis, or however you pronounce it, he's gone for 15 at his first over. So that's really gone and changed the complexion of the game just in that one over. But we have gone and picked up that guy who took him for most of those runs. Um, so that is what we like to see. But I don't think he'll be coming back to bowl today. I think we are going to go and mix it up. Bring in Salir, the spinner. Maybe the spinner can go and get something done for us. Maybe the spinner and the medium pace of Peter Boren um, are going to be effective on this track. Fingers crossed, um, because we do, as I said, need to go and make up that fifth bowler with no tender scar to playing today. So it is going to be difficult, but we do have the options there. As I said, Peter Boren, hopefully him and Salir, 
the the slower pace is going to go and get something done. It doesn't seem to be doing that. I think I'm going to bring back the quicks. Because I think it's one of these things that if the game carries on in this instance, I think it's going to go close. And I don't really want it to go close. I want it to go and just, I want that pressure put back on those guys. So we're going to bring back the paces now. We're going to bring back the quick guys, the openers. And hopefully they can go pick us up some wickets. From 66 from 54, this is definitely not out of reach for the Namibians. We need something. The required run rate down below 7 now. And we need this. We need the Burger Brothers. The Burger Brothers are in now. Surreal Burger has just. Is that Surreal? I don't think I've said that right. But um, he's just gone and picked up 50. So we really need to go and try and take him out and get him out ASAP. Because that required run rate is only 7. They're actually above the required run rate at the moment. So this is going to be a very interesting close to the game. As I said, we need some wickets. And we just can't seem to go and pick them up. 36. From 30 now, we get one of the Burger Brothers, not the one we wanted. We didn't want Lewis, we wanted Soler. He's the guy who has been, well, he's the one that's really gone and dominated for them. So hopefully Peter Boren can come back in. Hopefully his golden arm can go and get something done. But a good tight over, just four off it. And we really just need, it doesn't, it's all right. If we go and pick up wickets from the other end, we're going to go and put more pressure on him. And that ideally is what we want. No ball, which would have had him out. doesn't matter. We get him the next ball. And I think that could potentially be game set and match right there. Fingers crossed. Required run rate up above 9 now. 27 off 16. But just the one wicket left in hand. And thank God for that Myberg blitz towards the end of the innings. Because if it wasn't for that, we would have been struggling right now. And that is something that you don't see every day, people. A caught and bold on this game. Netherlands win by 27 runs, so we pick up the victory, which is the most important thing, I guess you would say. And um, just to see where we are, obviously Ireland doing what they do best. They are just dominating. Again, I think it's going to be between us and them. If we can beat them, we are going to be in a very good spot. But anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links to that can be found down below in the description. Also down below in the description, remember, there is that... Uh, well, not really a code, but that link to go and get you 10% off this game for both PC and Mac. So that's down below in the description. If you want to, uh, if you want to try out this game, remember, use that link. You'll get 10% off because you are a TC Gaming 16 viewer. Hope you guys have had a good weekend. Hope you've enjoyed all the videos first week back from my holiday. Next week, we're going to do it all again. Tomorrow, Don Bradman cricket batting career. Can't wait for that. Hope you had a good weekend.